And we've got the Bakersfield Marathon happening in just a few days. It's actually next month. And all month long, we've been talking about the health benefits of staying active. And joining me now is Dr. Chada, an obesity medicine specialist with Dignity uh, Health Medical Group. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Appreciate Thank you for it. Having me. So I think a lot of people, when we hear about a, a marathon, a 5K, all of these races here, it can be very overwhelming for people who are not runners uh, to, to be motivated to run. I want to just talk a little bit about the benefits of having cardio as part of your uh, exercise routine and the health benefits of that. Of course. You know, I feel that, you know, physical activity is the most under-prescribed medicine. Mm. It has tremendous both physical and mental benefits. Not only decreases blood pressure, cholesterol, and decreases the risk of cardiovascular disease and diabetes, but it's also very good for bone health, decreasing osteoporosis. Most importantly, it works uh, positively on our hypothalamus. That helps in improving mood. It helps in uh, sleep. It has great benefits. I would highly, highly recommend people to participate. Yeah, so when we talk about, you know, cardio, when we talk about when we're talking about running, a lot of people probably envision someone who's running miles around the, the neighborhood on, on a daily basis. And we know that there's a lot of people who, you know, it, it takes so much time and, and build up and endurance to get to that point. Where do you even start? And how can you start adding cardio into your daily routine, even if you're someone who is completely out of shape? Sure. So uh, start from where you are. Start exercise is the most easily, uh, walking is the most easily available exercise. So start from where you are and you know, if, if it's just 10 minutes gives you a good workout, you start feeling short of breath and then stop there and come back. But gradually increase it to 30 minutes a day. That's what the recommendation is because that really improves the health of the arteries. So what are you looking for? Again, if you're someone who's starting out, if you're someone who's starting out and you're just trying to get your heart going a little bit and getting, like you said, the blood pumping, what do you want to pay attention to to make sure that you're getting the, the benefits, you know, maximizing your, your exercise? So start seeing that uh, is, is my pace brisk or not? Is my heart rate going up or not? Those are the things that will tell you that your heart is pumping more and is getting the exercise that it needs for the so-called we call cardio. Uh, that means we are making our heart stronger and stronger every day. What is um, like a good recommendation on, on timing? Because you said just we're kind of walking for just a few minutes a day. What is a good like benchmark? What is your, you know, talking to the people who don't have cardio in their exercise or in their routine on a daily basis, what is a good like benchmark to just start at? Start at 10 minutes a day. 10 minutes a day? And then every week increase. Of like a, a good walk, right? A good walk. Okay. A good walk. If you have never been exercising, I'm talking about those people. But if you already are, you know, you already have some good exercise, then, you know, 30 to 45 minutes. That with, you know, you, you are able to talk while you're walking, but not singing. That, that's the benchmark that we are looking at. And sometimes when we have, when we're, when we're starting out, obviously, it might be uncomfortable because it is new. Mm -hmm. uh, this is something, though, that takes time to build up, right? Right. So it usually takes four to six weeks oh, okay. to, to, to do that. Suppose you are a absolutely, you have not been, because of injury or something, you have not been exercising a lot, then it does take that amount. But the 6K, if you are of medium uh, uh, level, mm -hmm. 6K is around 8,000 steps. 3.75 miles. If you on a routine basis have already done, you know, you walk two miles or three miles, it will be doable for you. Okay, so again, it's always good to start out small and then build up, but the overall message that you're trying to get out yes. there is start. Start moving. Absolutely. All Absolutely. Right. Thank you so much for joining us. Appreciate it. Again, the Bakersfield Marathon coming up in just a couple of days, but uh, it's always a good reminder for us to all incorporate cardio into our exercise routine. Thanks so much. All right, we'll be back after this.